So, Mar, I um, had coffee with a friend yesterday morning, and uh, he was saying uh, afterwards as we were leaving that um, I told him we were going out of town for Thanksgiving. He said, no, I'm staying here, and I've been invited by these friends, and I just hate the thought of going. I like them, but I know it's going to be all about politics. I know it's going to be all about this election. Um, I, I talked to my sister, said the same thing. She was thinking, oh my God, we got to sit down with some of these people that I know voted for Donald Trump. Uh, this is going on. Peter, you're going down to uh, South Carolina. <coughs> yeah, I am. I'm going down to South Carolina. My, my parents are both big Trump supporters. Uh, um, so you've yeah. been writing about this. Are, are there? Well, what's the secret to survive? Go away? Run away? <laughs> First of all, I have my own tip. By the way, just drink a lot of bourbon. Uh, drown yourself that's in liquor. A lot of people are going to be. Yeah, doing. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, yeah, that's that's probably not the most. Uh, uh, so uh, people, best that, way to do people it. that you've talked to, what are they saying? What's the? Well, I mean, it really just depends on your family is the thing. Like, are you from a family where people can have a respectful conversation and can listen to each other and, and come away from this conversation not, like, crying or screaming or, like, Real Housewives style, like, table flipping stuff? Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> because... Well, I was, just thinking, I, I was just thinking about Brad Woodhouse and his brother. Sure, yeah, that's right, that's right. I hope they're not at Thanksgiving together. Although their their mom would be able to help them come together a little bit, right? She sort of helped. Know, but bring yeah, no, you're right. But how how many families can have a calm, cool, rational discussion <laughs> about politics, particularly this election? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really too bad that Thanksgiving comes so close to the election because, <laughs> you know, the holidays are already really stressful. Like, there's traffic, you have to drive, you're cooking for hours, you have people maybe staying with you. It's a lot of stress. And then on top of that, it's like this year that we've had it just adds to it. So, so I mean, I guess what is, I talked to some therapists for this story. Oh, and whoa. some of their advice. <laughs> okay, right. Good. You know, they're all dealing with this too with their patients. They said that every single patient that they've seen has been really concerned about how the election is affecting their family. And so, um, when <laughs> when you decide to bring this up with your family, I guess the question is like, first of all, how how are they going to handle it? Um, will you be able to have a productive conversation too because I mean most people's minds aren't going to be changed and you know it's hard to say really what to do for some families because there are some people who of course are going to to not want to prioritize having like a, a peaceful like nice polite turkey dinner over standing up for for people's rights and um, at the same time there are some families who, who you know this conversation is not going to be productive and it's just going to ruin this meal that maybe your mom has spent seven hours cooking. So the therapists were saying that it's okay to have that conversation at a different time if mm. you if you want to. Uh, uh, meaning what uh, meaning you, <laughs> meaning you Christmas. Just, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Let's do <laughs> <We'll ruin> another <laughs> holiday because ruin Thanksgiving ruin is already holidays. so great. <laughs> well meaning Let's not ruin it you with could this. you could just declare politics off the table. Off the table. Off the table. So yeah. it, I'll just play devil's avocado. By the way, I think that's a that's a pretty good rule. Just mm. say. You I think it's. I, I think that's a good rule. That's the rule that that I have adopted with my family. But like, I said, if I could just play devil's avocado for a second, because yeah. I've got a friend whose mother voted for Trump, uh -huh. and she says, "I'm going to come for Thanksgiving, but I don't want to talk about Trump." And the mother goes, "Oh no, no." We need to talk about this. Yeah. You have got to talk about this with me because he's our president now, and you're going to come around to respect our president. And there is a like just this anger from both sides. And so there is no avoiding it. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? Well, you have that conversation. You and, drink. And, and, yes. And you drink. And you drink. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or you have Daniels it at another mediator. time. Yeah. Maybe I mean, she's coming for the weekend, you know? Yeah. You have it on Saturday, maybe. Right. Yeah. So or that Friday morning or something. So that you don't yeah. ruin Thanksgiving. Or three AM you know. when you're so riddled with anxiety that you can't go to sleep that you just go wake him up and have the conversation then? That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> that is also an option. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I guess maybe my attitude would be depending on what the numbers are. Like if the numbers are on my side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you're then, looking for factions. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. all right, that's fair. If it's like eight to two, yeah, let's that's go you. For let's it. have it. Let's yeah, go for yeah. it. Right. Let's beat the pulp out of these Trump voters. <laughs> well, uh, if the numbers are not on your the side, are, then yeah. I'd say, yeah, uh, it should be a zone sanitaire. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <No. laughs> you can 
also just go to the other room too if you feel like you're really being attacked. I mean, that that's a good tactic. It's just kind of like get out of the situation. And but I'm not making it up. Is, this is a big deal this Thanksgiving. Yeah, people are it? really worried about it. Yeah, there's some people who have um, uninvited other members from their family Thanksgivings, and some people are relieved about that. Whoa. Some people are upset about it too. So we almost didn't go. We 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 had to put it up to a a family uh, vote. And I lost because I voted. I didn't want to go. I said I didn't want to go, and then I lost. <laughs> uh, you know, you could also like if you break the rule and say anything politics, then you have to do the dishes. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's a good policy. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a good policy. That could, then, then again, I mean, do you really want to be handling knives and cutlery? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <for Future>. right. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean. Like maybe. Uh, yeah, and then I also think of this. So, what do you guys think? They're watching uh, or listening uh, out in the real world. Eight six six fifty five press. Is there any way of avoiding it? And uh, let's face it, many, many, many families, if not most families, uh, have people who voted either some for Hillary and some for Donald Trump. Unlikely, that all members of the family voted the same way. So how are you approaching it? What do you think uh, the, the answer is? You know, um, at, at the same time, maybe I'm, th- I'm thinking about it. This is the most important thing that's happened in the last, right, <laughs> the last few years. Uh, and it's a radical new change in many, many ways in, in terms of change of direction for this country. Um, so maybe it's healthy just to get it all out there. Mm-hmm. It's going to be very hard not to talk about it, I think. Um, I mean, yeah, every dinner party right. I've been to in the last two weeks, um, no one can avoid the topic, even though everyone is <laughs> just wants tired to. of talking yeah, about a little it. Bit, they yeah. say that, but then that's what they want to talk about. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I get tired of talking about it, but everywhere <laughs> I go, that's what people want to talk about. 